what's on my mind today is politics. What is going on? Sometimes I wonder if the country has gone unhinged and has gone totally crazy. You Democrat or Republican, why can't we just be Americans? What is going on with the way people are thinking now? I don't know. I have no idea. But it is one of those questions I always ask myself, how did we get to this point? But has it always been like this? Well, it might have always been like this. And for good reason. Politics gets us all going. No matter what we don't or do believe, or what we think we believe, but we sometimes change our minds about, isn't always the same thing as what it was at the time before. Or is it? Or do we have passionate things we're about, but we don't know what to do about them, so we just go crazy about what we should do, about things that we are passionate about. Well, that's fine. That's great. You should have passion. You should have passion about life. You should be able to go through life and at least make a statement and believe in something. If you don't believe in anything, you're going to fall for anything. So one thing that I don't understand about the political uh, atmosphere that we live in today is why is it that so many people are so mad at other people about what they say about certain things that really we shouldn't get mad about? Um, for example, why do we get upset about what goes on in Congress and what goes on in the Senate? This last thing that happened just recently, the shutdown, it, it all was, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was, it was like, why are we doing this? Why can't we just decide on a budget? But this has been going on for a long, long time. They can't decide on a budget, even though if we live in our homes and you and I, we have to have a budget or we can't survive. We run out of money. We don't have that m magic pit where we can go to and get that money out. So we have to basically have a budget. A budget, then we got to stay inside that budget. We can't go outside the budget. But today, the government, the way it runs, is that they keep putting things on their bucket list. Oh, I need this. I got to have that. We got to keep this program going. We got to keep that going. We got to do this. We got to do that. And so they can't decide on a budget. Seems like a simple thing, but when you're as big as a government, you can't have everybody agree on everything. So last time that this happened, they kicked it down the road. They always say this. They kicked the can down the road. Here we go. We're going to kick this can down the road. So if you're Republican, Democrat, independent, which I am, I'm independent, I don't really, you know, and some of the things they believe in isn't really what I believe in. And that's probably, probably for sure you don't believe in some of the things that they do. So one side blames the other side. The other side says it's your fault. And the other side says it's your fault. And you all, everybody's pointing fingers at everybody else. The Republicans have the House and the Senate and the, and the president's Republican. So they have the government. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, stop, stop that train for a minute. They don't have the Senate because they need 61 votes in order to actually pass anything in the Senate. Now, they could do that nuclear option thing and do the 51 vote thing. That wouldn't be good, though, because that would mean that whoever the majority was, they would have to just have... 51 people that believe the same thing they do, which is a party. And so that party will run everything. That's not the way it should be done. It should be bipartisan. It should be the Democrats working with Republicans. So actually, technically, the Republicans may have more people in the Senate, but they don't have enough to do anything in the Senate. So they have to rely on a few votes from the Democrats. So that's why it's a stalemate in the Senate. And this thing that happened this last time, which we won't talk about because I'll get knocked off of YouTube because politics is something you can't talk about on YouTube. But if they would have, if, if a couple came over, which they did eventually, but they only came over to keep the government going until the same day that the Olympics start. So they got to still iron out what they're going to do. So if you're with me or not with me, it's one of those things. It's politics. But... Whenever they say 
is the Republicans have the Senate. They actually do not have the Senate. So it's kind of funny. They have to rely on some senators on the other side, and they have to reach across the aisle, is what they always say. They're going to reach across the aisle to work. Well, that's the way it should be. Both parties should work together. Both parties should be at least on board on some things. Aren't we Americans? Or we don't agree on this, or we don't agree on that, but we're going to make an impasse. We're going to actually go halfway, meet you halfway on it. But not in today's political crime, climate. But it always has been kind of a weird thing about politics. Even back in the old days, there was some nasty stuff going on. So it's not a modern thing. This thing has been going on for years and years and years. And even though some people will blame the media for some of this being the way it is, actually, politics is a hot topic button. It's one of those things that really get people going. So if you really, really are passionate about something, which we all should be passionate about something, then, of course, you're going to get people that won't agree, disagree, but really, they've always been there. They've always had problems. They've never had a smooth government, and they've never agreed on everything totally. But really, the Democrats, Republicans, and Independents should get together and agree on a few more things, because really, we're all Americans. And that's what's on my mind today. Let's be American.